Hey guys, Jacqueline Drake here with the Cars Tour and we got a little bit of different scenery here today. A little birdie told me a Southern National Motorsports Park that Travis Braden recently moved to Concord, North Carolina. I'm here on scene, let's see if he's home. Oh, it must be Jacqueline. <laughs> hey, how's How it doing? going? What do we yeah. got here? This is our home, literally our motor home. We got an RV. <laughs> Thanks welcome, for having me. Yeah, welcome to our mobile home, literally. What's going on here? You guys moved all the way to Concord in an RV? We moved all the way down here just to uh, hang out with you guys today. Oh, well, that's awesome. <laughs> well, turn me around. Let's see. What do you got going on? All right, so this is how we quarantine, of course, is in this um, this motorhome. So, of course, we have a pretty cool entryway, which has a new addition that I just got this hung up. This is nice. Yeah. People that walk by probably are like, man, that guy's seriously... Uh, threatening him. anyone that wants to try to rob him is going to be in trouble. So we got the so, living room here. Yeah, this is obviously you walk in when we park. We'll flip these chairs around, and we have our whole living room. We actually have two couches. Can you have slides? Slide outs. Okay. Yeah. Um, you make another like two-step walk, and you're in our kitchen. This is where we cook and clean and do everything. So of course it's kind of small, um, but we do have a microwave and convection oven combo. We do not have a dishwasher. I'm the dishwasher. This is Jess's little cooking area. She does pretty much all the cooking in return for me doing the dishes. <laughs> and this is kind of where everything takes place every morning. We start our day here and then we quickly transition to the dining, which is really just Travis our office. Headquarters. Yeah, this is okay. the headquarters. So it isn't much, but we got everything we need to, to communicate with people and do any kind of business that we got to take care of. And something else cool is when people place an order on TravisBrighton.com, <laughs> we have all of the merchandise down in the basement of the RV. We what? ship it all out yeah. of this RV. When we say it's the headquarters, we do everything here. These are brand new, so you're you're launching them for us today, Jacqueline. This is our brand new 2019 Snowball Derby race winning uh, car magnets. You know, one thing everybody wants to know when they hear that you've moved here to North Carolina, you know, you're coming from West Virginia, you're living in an RV, how did that get started? How did this all come together for you? Well, you know, it's, uh, it, it is kind of funny. We, you know, my girlfriend Jess and I actually laugh about it at times. And when we came up with this idea, it was definitely like, you know, we're really going to do this. But with what we wanted to do, moving to, to North Carolina and trying to do this racing thing, um, even more seriously than we already were. It just seemed like it was almost, um, you know, the, the best option for us. One thing with this RV is you're all in. You have all your chips in. Do you feel like that gives you a little bit of an advantage when you're out there on the track? Absolutely. And, you know, I, I just, it's kind of funny the way my, my career has unfolded since I was a kid. Um, you know, at one point my dad had always done everything and it was just he and I racing for a long time. And at one point he said, you know, we're going to, if you want to keep racing, we're, we're going to start maybe racing Legends cars. We had decided that together. He didn't just tell me we were going to. And he was like, but if you want to do this at this level, I think I was like 12 years old. Um, you know, I'll, I'll help you with what I can do, which is get you from A to B. And, uh, you know, I'll buy you this car. It's all I can really afford to do. And you got to do it from there. You have to figure out how to work on it. You have to figure out how to make it go fast on and off the track and all those things. And so that, that, you know, didn't realize it, but that put me in a position to be able to do what I do today, which is, um, you know, I don't have the multi-million dollar backing sponsorships that some people might have, but, um, I add a lot of value to the team. I try to anyway, um, uh, whichever team I, I work with and, um, Again, this this whole lifestyle that we that we have moving down here doing this is the only way I could truly, um, you know, set myself up for that once I got here. So you've hit on it a few times, and I know we're going to invite her in, but you came down here not alone. You came down here with a huge supporter, completely invested in your career. Jess, come on, join <laughs> us over here on the couch. <laughs> You came with him here, and I know you guys had a long distance relationship prior to moving, not only moving here to North Carolina, but you've never lived together. T 
talk about that dynamic of just making this decision and you're all in too. You've put all your chips on the table into supporting him and his career. Yeah, so um, prior to moving down here, we really only saw each other, you know, the way racing lifestyle goes, we really only saw each other at the racetrack because you're so busy the other few days of the week preparing to go to the racetrack. So, um, not that we hadn't spent a ton of time together, but it was always in that setting. So yeah, moving down here was... This is really the first time we've spent considerable time together like in, in a not racing setting. You know, we're really a team at what we're, what we're doing, what we're trying to do in the future. And, you know, you can, you can work remotely and, and long distance, but at some point you need to be able to work face to face. And that just wasn't gonna happen in the situation that we were in. I think a lot of people don't realize that I had a real job <laughs> and a real life that I just, I obviously have a lot of confidence in him because I dropped everything to yeah. come live in a motor home it's down just, in North Carolina. <laughs> it should not go without being noted that uh, Jess has really given me a lot and committed a lot to me and not just in the racing thing, but of course my life and doing this. And, and, and I say that as like, She's given that to me, but it's really, it's really us. Like I, I don't know if I would even want to do the racing thing um, without, without her anymore. It's just that's, that's what I enjoy about it. It's doing it together. You know, going after huge goals in life, you got to make sure you got your partner beside you, and you're constantly supporting each other no matter what. And you know, just you do a lot for Travis, and a lot of it unspoken, right? Thank you. You. The, you do the PR. You do a lot of the sponsorship seeking. Talk us through like what your normal everyday thing is here happening in the headquarters of Travis Braden <laughs> right here behind us. Yes, right at that little table over there. Um, I don't come from a racing family. I kind of stumbled into racing um, unexpectedly. Um, and I think sometimes that almost gives us an advantage because I don't know the normal way people do operate in racing as far as sponsorship or marketing. Um, and so he has been obviously in the industry for a long time. So I think the two of us work really well together because we have two different views of how things should be done. And we get up in the morning, we make breakfast, we sit down at that table and pretty much all day we brainstorm off each other, um, marketing, sponsorship ideas. And obviously moving down here, the goal is to make it to the next level in racing and that takes sponsorship that takes money so um, pretty much from sun up to sundown that's what we're working on so speaking of sponsorships I know you're you guys are trying to figure out what to do for the rest of the season obviously there's a yeah. bunch of mess right now with with the corona going on but what do you got planned are we gonna see it some cars tour races yeah well it's it was great we made our first car source start our plan this year was to focus on super late model racing and, and pro late model racing and and uh, our, our main focus is to do that with Team Platinum, which of course we won the Snowball Derby with. Um, so that means car store races, hopefully um, some some more races down south. We'd like to go to Pensacola uh, maybe a time or two before the Derby and, and try to, to focus on that again this year. And Well, as always, you know, thanks for letting us come and invade your space <laughs> here in the campground. And um, if you want to support Travis Braden, you can head to his website, travisbraden.com. You'll get in contact with the, one of these two because they're working behind the scenes. If you want to know about their daily gypsy life here in the RV, you can go to their YouTube, Travis Braden, or you can head over to their Facebook page. Uh, Jess is always pumping out the vlogs, which is something super unique to short track racing. Um, so again, thank you guys for having us and we hope to see you guys.